Hi everyone, uh, if you've downloaded some of my games, you've probably seen that it's all in ASCII art. There's no fancy uh, line drawing or OpenGL kind of stuff. And I'm going to be talking about how I've done that in this video. So this, the first thing I wrote was a short five-line program just to output each of the ASCII characters. And here I've outputted the number and the character associated with it. ASCII is a sequence of 256 characters from... 0 to 255 inclusive. So if we run that and pipe it to ASCII.out file, we can view it, and I'm using Notepad. And to view this in Notepad, I've already done this, but um, for your reference, you have to use the font terminal, which tells us to display whatever the terminal will see. And there are the characters. Um, the interesting ones are these ones, these lines and these grid patterns. Those are the characters that I've used to draw out this grid. And um, another set of interesting characters I could probably reference to. Um, this is useful in Shogi. So if you recall in Shogi, the pieces don't actually have color. Um, they have a direction in which they move and the direction corresponds to this, the, the, the player. And uh, I've drawn that in arrows. and that corresponds to 24 and 25 and actually the interesting thing is for Gafu Shogi if you recall Gafu Shogi has pieces that can point in all four directions and so for that I use characters 26 and 27 so let's drop the king to face on the east side on B2 and that draws out this character and to use these characters in your program what you would do is there's two ways to do that um, for example, if you want to print the character for the arrow, you could just copy and paste it um, directly from your ASCII.out file that you generated earlier. You could also use the um, the character number, um, percent %C, of say you want to print left arrow, you would just say 27. Um, and that's, that's all there is to it. And um, you can generate all sorts of interesting ASCII, or you can even draw the boxes for the the shogi drop pieces. So let me show you a more traditional one. Micro shogi, for example. Oh, and um, for the logo for the games, I used characters, these ones. So you can see there's um, completely filled in the bottom half, the left half, the right half, the top half. The only thing I found that was a shame was that there's nothing to draw diagonals. So if I want to play the game um, Hex, or I'm trying to think what else relies heavily on diagonal lines, uh, I'm sure there are other games that, well, there's, hex, there's, um, there's chess variants that are played on a hexagon, for example, and there's checkers variants. Um, but ASCII art doesn't really support that very well. The only thing I can think of to do is to draw forward slashes and back slashes, but that's not very clean. It leaves a lot of gaps in uh, in your game unless you can think of a way to, to avoid that. So that's really all there is to it. I hope to eventually uh, actually use some graphics in my games, but for the interest of um, speed, because I'm actually competing in tournaments, uh, this saves up a lot of RAM and hopefully it's still very easy to use for the average user. So that's what I'm sticking with for the tournaments. Thanks for watching.